hola ba fetu hola ba fetu hola ba fetu hola ba fetu Welcome to Free State Culture. Take me through your journey with myself, Mabokoto, Mabokoto. And today we are in Heidedal, ne? Yeah. Heidedal, Cairo. Yeah, yeah. We know it as Cairo. And we have the one and only DJ Swift. 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 Yeah. DJ Swift. Um, we are just going to talk about his life and everything that he's doing at the moment and where he's from. How's it, Khotman? Ah, I'm good, I'm good, Are you man. Good? Yeah, I'm happy to be on the show, man. <laughs> Lovely, Khotman. Thanks for Lovely inviting Krotman. us, yeah. Would you please uh, greet our viewers and tell them who are you? Hi, guys. I'm, I'm basically from uh, Make Your Dance Entertainment. Um, I'm also a DJ for the company and so on. And we basically do events here in the Free State area. So if you guys are looking to do a booking, don't forget to give us a shout out. Check us out on MUD Entertainment, our page, as well as our emails. You guys can make contact with us for any artists that are looking to produce some music. Got a studio, so yeah, we're doing quite a number of things. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Before we go into details, would you please just take us through the younger version of uh, DJ Torres? Hey. Uh, real names, <laughs> where are you the, from? <laughs> yeah, well, um, basically I've been in Bloom for, for many years. I'm originally born and bred in, in, in Kimberley, in Kimberley, but I've been here for like 30, 40 years. So, well, not 40, but yeah, quite, <laughs> quite some time. But um, yeah, well, my journey basically started off as just uh, doing uh, DJ gigs with my brother at his nightclub and uh, it was a hobby and um yeah we fell in love with the whole game and uh here we are today still still doing some music mm. still still uh, hitting up some gigs where we can mm. and yeah so that's basically a short form of the history if i have to go from zero it'll be all day long that i'll be chatting to you guys yeah yeah <laughs> and uh, except for uh, being a dj what else do you do well, I'm doing business currently, um, so I'm doing various businesses here in our area within our community and stuff like that, uh, doing a little bit of fuel, a little bit of accommodation, so yeah, a little bit of versatility, just makes it easier to stay alive nowadays because things are tough. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. And how do you juggle uh, between all these things, because I believe you are a family man. Yes, yes. yes, I yes. Got, how I, difficult or easy it is for you? It's not easy. Getting yeah. to this interview was a, was a mission on I, its own, because <laughs> the kids were like, hey, where are you going to dinner? Mm -hmm. No, I'll be back, man. Let me just go and do some one or two things. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, being on a podcast and seeing that people are trying to bring back culture yeah. in terms of, you know, events and things like that, artist management in, in, in the industry. Yeah, we appreciate people like you that's doing that for us. Lovely, 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 lovely. And in terms of business, when did you start in terms of business specifically? Let's leave DJing a bit. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, well, business, I think I've been from 18 years old, yeah. Mm. Yeah, running taxi business business and then yeah advancing into doing properties and stuff like that so mm. yeah it's basically part of my lifestyle it's mm. it's where everything began but um, practically speaking went to the varsity studied uh, did my law degree finished my law degree and then eventually just found that uh, business is a niche market for me mm -hmm. that I enjoy and I think it also gives you a little bit of freedom of time where the law industry didn't give me that and yeah that's basically it mm. and have you considered or are you in partnership with other business people well or? currently i'm in partnership with the make you dance entertainment crew mm -hmm. and then um, obviously um, with, with family members and stuff like that doing business with them so yeah um, doing business with 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 various people is actually mm -hmm. uh, uh, how i operate because you can't do everything on your own yeah. i mean udnet also um, i got a business partner there so yeah, partnerships is the way to grow. Lovely, lovely. And they, they usually they said, well, when when you start a business, you have challenges, and people think it's greater challenges. And then, when you are in business, start making money, or when 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 the business has, is is booming, you also have challenges. Which challenges did you enjoy when you started, or the current challenges? I think it's always tougher in the beginning. Mm -hmm because you don't know if you're gonna make it yeah yeah and you take in a lot of risks and you don't know if they're gonna pay off so mm. um yeah i would say in the beginning more than mm. towards the end or where we are now in the middle ages of my business career if i can say so mm. and um, yeah that's that's basically what makes it a bit challenging in terms of your employee management mm. because you get more and more employees as your business grows so from a business perspective perspective yeah that was that's the toughest part right now managing employees mm. and what what do you always tell these young people because i believe uh, young people you you somehow meet people and ask you how did you make it what do you say to them 
Well, I would say, well, if you do what you love, you know, if you if you passionate about what you do and give it 110 percent, you'll always get something back some other way. You know, um, the harder you work, the luckier you get. It's just mm. the facts of life. Yeah. You're going to sit at home and not, uh, you know, try and chase the dream that you're looking for. Then mm. you won't ever reach there. So, yeah, every day is one step forward. Lovely. lovely. And I saw that you the, the, your, the one of your companies, um, Udinet. Yes, yes. I saw that you're sponsoring uh, a couple of businesses uh, yes. from the community. What 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 pushes you to also help other people? Well, I mean, I, I wouldn't uh, be able to do business in the community if they're not supporting us. Yeah. So we like to give back where we can. And, you know, um, you never know if that little bit uh, is actually something that makes that person become uh, a, a student in the business world. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, and uh, we also believe that, you know, from a social development perspective, yeah. it's also good to give back to your communities. And, yeah, and we appreciate you guys for that. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And how is the support uh, in all the businesses? Our support is tremendous. I mean, mm -hmm. from, from a UDNet perspective, I mm -hmm. think uh, a lot of people here locally know our company mm -hmm. and they support our business and that's how we stay relevant. Mm -hmm. um, also from uh, the filling station, mm -hmm. a lot of the general public puts in fuel there at our company. And um, yeah, so all of the, everybody that's, that's putting in their five cents uh, mm -hmm. becomes a lot. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, that's why we try and also give back where we can. Yeah, uh, and I, I hear that you, you, you are in multiple businesses. That means you're working with a lot of people. Yes, the, yes. the people that works with you or under your umbrella. How is it? Uh, how difficult it is to work with people? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say it's always difficult. The beginning is always the challenge, the and then uh, when people get used to your work ethic and, yeah. and realize what it is that you require, mm -hmm. and consistency is key, um, then yeah, then we then we get along quite well. But in the beginning, it's always tough, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you're willing to put in the hours, and mm -hmm. I'm always willing to share knowledge. So uh -huh. that that's that's the nice thing about me. I don't hold back. And yeah. You know, not, not let them learn and grow in their own individual capacity. Mm. And then in terms of mentorship, inspire, uh, being inspired or motivations, do you have a mentor? Um, not currently, um, you know, but I did learn from other business mm. individuals and mm. stuff like that. Uh, the people that you meet as you go through your on your own path mm. and um, yeah those people give you advice and influence and also try and assist you to grow mm. so i would say that i was mentored by um, every person that i've come into contact with because mm -hmm. we share our minds mm. we we express our needs and and our intuitions and i think through that you gain knowledge and you become a little bit smarter in what you do and and that's the way that you inspire to get what you want mm. And uh, most people, when, when, I le when I watch or listen to other interviews, most people, there were times where they wanted to give up, especially business people. Have you found yourself in a position where you think you believe oh, it's, it's not working? <laughs> uh, I was a little bit on the other side of things, you know. My mm -hmm. choices had to be between either leaving the work that I'm currently doing in order to become a businessman. Mm -hmm. So uh, my challenge was making that decision. But mm -hmm. I had a little bit of leeway there because I could lean on both of them at the same mm -hmm. time. So if the one wasn't working, I still had the plan B there. Yeah, so, so, I <laughs> so I wasn't in that situation that mm -hmm. I could say, no, I just don't want to do business anymore. Mm -hmm. It actually drove me to do more business. So, yeah, yeah I'm so, lucky. So, so it's, it's, is it always advisable to have a plan B? I would say so because it won't always work out mm -hmm. and it might take a long time for you to actually achieve what you're looking for because mm -hmm. you know a lot of people are financially uh, uh, crippled, e crippled. Mm -hmm. they're not capable of actually running their own business yeah. because of finance mm -hmm. so um, all of those things you know so building the business up takes time. So, so that's one of the, the challenges that people have as businessmen. Mm. You're not gonna just get the overnight rich game. You know, it's gonna True. take some time. True that. And like you just mentioned, that uh, finances, uh, the financial challenge is the main challenge when it comes to starting a business. And a lot of people are always complaining about government not assisting us financially. What what advice would you give when it comes to involving the government? Well, I couldn't, I can't speak too much about government and, and, and what programs they are running, you mm -hmm. know. Um, but um, the thing is, like you say, I mean, if you're financially strapped and you don't have somebody that's willing to invest into you, mm -hmm. it's going to be very tough. It's going to be tough. You know, so unless you have something that somebody is willing to invest in mm -hmm. from the private sector, yeah. 
then you're going to be very limited in how fast your growth will take place. So, mm. yeah, I mean, those are one of the things where you can't blame government alone, mm. but, mm. Uh, you know, um, social, society social society on its own way, you know, um, the investors can also invest into people. Mm. But it doesn't happen uh, very often because, uh, you know, remember sometimes you don't have the experience, you don't have the... Uh, or your plan that you're wishing to achieve mm. isn't viable and mm. uh, so guys are maybe chasing dreams but maybe they should just change their dream mm. to something mm. different something and maybe different. It, they'll achieve what they're looking for lovely lovely let's focus now on MUD MUD uh, it's for the first time that I hear that MUD stands for make it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I didn't know that <laughs> now uh, I want to know uh, you uh, MUD is, is it a record label what, what is MUD well, MUD is basically got uh, two aspects of the business. We've got mm. Make You Dance Records, mm. which is basically where all the studio time goes down mm. and artists come and perform and, mm. and basically do do some records and we see if we can try and get them out there in, into the, the, the music uh, industry. industry. And then uh, Make You Dance Entertainment is more the events management company. Mm. Where we plan events, we manage events. Mm. Um, we get people that if you want to have an event, we can try and get sponsors. We mm -hmm. can try and also get DJs. And we've got DJ equipment and all of those kind of things, you know, sound and so on. So um, that's basically where the two branches fall into mm -hmm. place, you know. So we've got those two aspects. Yeah. Currently, have any artists under MUD? Yeah, I mean, uh, we've got uh, one of our producers also here yeah, today, Fikinana. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we've got some artists that we've uh, we haven't really signed up per se, mm -hmm. um, but we're trying to get them some some deals with some us deals. where we're looking for somebody to basically put them into the mainstream. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, it's it's still a process, still mm -hmm. a growing process. But like you know, um, mm -hmm. uh, the financial aspect of things yeah. is always difficult. So, so we're hoping to strike some sponsors that can come on board and join irons with us, where we can try and do more artist development, mm -hmm. and hopefully achieve that through the record label. Lovely, lovely. And in terms of uh, uh, events, do you think we have an entertainment industry in, in Free State? Yeah, I think uh, there's every weekend an adventure in the Free mm. State. And, mm. uh, um, there's a lot of guys doing things and so on, you know. I just think that uh, maybe in our area where, um, or our community in the mm. Hedadal area, mm. uh, there isn't so much, you know, the, the events taking place as yet. And that's where we came in and thought there's a need. Mm. So we're hoping that we can, can create a bit more of an urban cultural vi atmosphere here for mm. the people where they know every week or every month in there's something that's happening here in, in the area and it's always lacquer to party local you know most yeah, of the people yeah. that come <laughs> around you know yeah. so yeah we're hoping that we can grow that and, yeah. and hopefully within the next couple of years there will be that yeah. environment where people know there is an atmosphere exactly. in the Hedral area Lovely. not just in Kasi or in Lovely. Second Avenue yeah. so yeah Lovely. that's what we're hoping to achieve and in terms of talent do you see talent in Free State? <laughs> Hey, hey, that's a difficult one. You're putting me in, uh, you're putting me in the spot here. But, you know, um, if you look at it, I mean, uh, there, there's a couple of artists that are in the mainstream uh, mm. um, in terms of uh, music. I mean, if you look at Prince KB, yeah. um, you know, these are all local artists, artists and local talent that's come through here from a DJ perspective. I mean, um, Stino... Um, mm. Twenty. Um, so there, yes, uh, there, is talent, there is talent, but the exposure isn't like what you would get from yeah. Johannesburg and, and Cape Town and those mm. kind of places. You know, the main cities that, that produce these artists and know how to get into the mainstream line. Yeah, and in terms of uh, uh, when when our artists, local artists, make it in the mainstream, they 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 are starting to have beef and all that uh, reference. Remember the guys, Shaban Nafela, can I those guys who sang Shabana, Shabana felt the fraternity. Yes, yes. When they, when they blew up, they separated. And Datestana and this other, Troy, there's a beef. What's your take on that? <laughs> Hey, you know, it's difficult to say, man, because, you know, sometimes the guys are lazy. They don't want to mm. work. you the only one hustling and trying to push this thing. So it's difficult to say why they broke up, you know. But I don't know if it was about creed or not. Yeah. Um, but also that's one thing that plays a role, you know, where a record mm, label well. says, hey, we rather want you alone. These other guys are not pulling their weight. Mm. So then you have to make a business decision, you know. 
So you can't always say it's just bad, but um, sometimes staying with, with where you come from can, mm. can let you also uh, uh, stay relevant. Where yeah. If you take a chance on your own mm. and, and it doesn't add up to what you want it to be, then you've lost all of those friendships mm. and things like that. So, yeah, you've got to try and balance it. But work ethic is the is maybe work one ethic. of the problems that, mm. that people have in this game. That mm. Once they make it and they see they've, they've bought themselves a nice car or mm. whatever the case may be, then... The, the motivation isn't there anymore. Mm, mm, mm. And uh, how, how when, as DJ DJ Swift, how involved are you in the MUD, in in in, in studio and all the business thing? Well, we've got somebody that manages our studio mm. uh, because my time is limited, so I can't get to do all of these mm. things. And then with events planning, we're a team of four guys. Um, so we all come together, we have a meeting and we do our events planning and each person will have a certain aspect of what they need to do to get the, the, the whole show basically going forward. And um, so yeah, so it's support. Like I mentioned too, we par I partner with a lot of guys and that just it. makes it easier mm. for, for us to, to be able to do these things. Because yes. it's not just me alone, you mm -hmm. know, so yeah. And then DJ Swift, what what music do you play? What genre do you play? Man, Where hey, do you play? I, I've been going through different vibes lately. Yeah, you know, yeah. when when it started up, it was uh, you know uh, a little bit of, of deep house with some old school deep house, house and um, you know we come from back in the days of the vinyls, you know, so mm. um, it wasn't like easy where you just have a stick and stuff like yes. that, you know. <laughs> so uh, yeah, but uh, as the industry has basically developed and stuff like that. I've, I've, I've gone through different vibes, but lately I like deep tech. I like deep tech, some Afro tech, mm. and um, some deep soul is also mm. nice to jam in your car and stuff yeah, like that, yeah. you know? Uh, yeah, and then some piano, but yeah, that I would say my niche or what I like to play is more deep tech and a little bit of deep soul. Mm, lovely, lovely. Do you play a lot around here or? I used to I used to really do a lot of you know uh, events as well as try and stay relevant in the industry by DJing at different people's places and mm. stuff like that and being mm. invited uh, but unfortunately when you have so much businesses running ah, and family and time, kids no? the time isn't allowed of me to, to participate in the nightlife mm. in that way anymore so yeah. I've given up that side and we'll rather do events management and planning at the moment yeah and then our two 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 seconds opinion on Makufe. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your take on Makufe? Uh, people are complaining that a lot of uh, artists from outside are being booked instead yeah. of our artists and we have a lot of artists in the free state. Aye, that's not fair. I mm. mean, uh, you know, I think uh, that's the only way to grow our artists is mm. by supporting them. So mm. the lack of support is why people can't move forward. So mm. I would say it should be more locally focused mm. and that way then the local market grows because that mm. same artist can now afford to perhaps buy themselves a mic, yeah. uh, go and do some recordings in the studio because they've been booked. Mm. Um, you know, all of those kind of things, that exposure mm. is important. Yeah, and then the radio. Do you think our radio uh, in Free State do they play? They do they contribute enough in our artists to be to to get exposure? I, uh, it depends. I think um, sometimes the the music is being played and sometimes it isn't. Mm. But uh, I will say most of the time they. I mean, if you look at Mateo FM, for yeah. example, they are playing a lot of the local mm, artists, mm. Uh, you know. Um, but uh, the consistency might not be all the time. It's regularly, you know, mm. where you would say you're on high rotation, like mm. what they say on, on, on radio. Mm. So, uh, yeah, um, the support is there, but I would say that they could do a little bit more. Mm. And then in your experience, in my experience, we have, we have artists from Uptown, your second avenue, and then we have artists from the location, uh, what's that, The Thoughts? And then we have artists from the square and the colors, artists from the square of six and all <laughs> that. And it's my first time coming to Haida Dal, uh, coming to interview someone from Haida Dal. Do you, do you see any unity or are we divided in your experience? I think we unit, we unified when it, uh, if it boils down to that way, we all invited to host an event together in that way where mm. we all have to bring our five cents of artists and mm. stuff like that. Mm. Yes, but I mean, um, I would say that it is divided. Mm. because uh, you won't see that the DJs from, from this area is mm. really playing mm. in those areas. In the areas. So the, the, the unity is in there in that way because I think the guys, are, there's a jealousy in the game yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. You're going to take my work. And, mm. you know, so, 
so the guys try to protect their jobs, mm-hmm. you know. At mm-hmm. the end of the day, some guys are doing it for a living, so that's all they have. So if they're not playing this weekend because yeah. you pitched up to go and play <laughs> there, they're going to get upset. Mm-hmm. So it's difficult, it's difficult, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, lovely. Uh, I'm going to put you on the spot. Give me three of your uh, cars that you like. Three of my cars. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> cars <laughs> that I can afford or cars <laughs> that, you know. <laughs> um, well, I like a, uh, I like a SUV. I like SUV? A, I like a X5 and an X6. X5. And then um, I like fast cars like M3s, mm-hmm. M4s. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but if I really had to go all out where I have my own boy <laughs> toy, give me a Lambo, give me a Lambo. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're good. Yeah, then I'm good. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, female celebrities, give me top five. Top five female celebrities. Hey, <laughs> I don't even watch <laughs> any South TV. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even watch any TV, you know what I mean? I'm more of a sports fanatic, you yeah, know? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to say the whole banana banana. <laughs> 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 the old banana, banana. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Yeah, it's the World Cup time, so we're supporting them, you know. Yeah, no just And what do you think of that? Are you doing well at the moment? Man, they broke my heart now the other day where they were 2 0 up, and I'm like, hey, they still ended up drawing the game. I'm like, nah, if you can't win from 2 0, then mm. I don't know what you need, you know, a miracle. Yeah, so, it's yeah, a miracle. so we're gonna have to go to the Sangoma over the weekend, <laughs> all of you guys, yeah. <laughs> judging from what they what, what just happened now, uh, before the World Cup. Do you think uh, our football in South Africa, is it fair between gents and the ladies and the women? Uh, look, it's, it's a difficult thing because remember, I think uh, uh, women's football is quite young. Mm-hmm. It's not something that's been there for as long as the males. Yeah. And uh, if you think from a support perspective, you know, mm-hmm. um, I think male football is more supported mm-hmm. and it'll take some time for the female football to maybe reach that level. So I would think that's the main reason why they don't receive the same mm-hmm. uh, 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 salaries and stuff like mm-hmm. that, you know. Uh, so I wouldn't say it's fair, but I would say it's maybe still something that we need to grow. Because yeah. I think if the support is there, mm-hmm. then obviously then the salaries come with that's it. I mean, if the stadiums are booked out and all of those things, then you know that um, you you can successfully pay your employees. You know, exactly. by the end of the day, it's also a business, exactly. so you can only pay what you can afford. Mm. But um, from a SAFA perspective and stuff like that, um, yeah, they they are the gatekeepers. They have to make those decisions. Yeah, and I think they have to look at how much and and what the league is earning. And then they will be able to tell if they are capable. But Lovely. if it's a thing of, nah, they taking all the money, then mm. I say it's unfair. Lovely. You just mentioned that you are a sport, sport fanatic. Ne? Uh, give me three, top three or top five. Sports that I like. Yeah. I like uh, Formula One. Formula One. I like golf. Mm-hmm. Um, I like tennis. Mm-hmm. I like football. Football. And um, rugby. Rugby also. <laughs> hey, I almost forgot rugby. Hey, well done to the Springboks for winning by one point. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, that's basically. Uh, in general, I even like cycling. Watching mm-hmm. cycling, mm-hmm. you know, I just like watching sport yeah. in general. MMA fights. Mm. Yeah. And, and then football, I hear, uh, I hear that uh, golf and tennis, they've got money. Hey, there's big money. Now that's why you love you know. it. <laughs> <laughs> I love watching it. Yeah. <laughs> and it's also interesting to see how the guys also. You know, uh, I, you think it's an impossible game for such mm. a small ball to reach there. So mm. you see, see the amount of talent that there is there. And South Africa is also performing there now, mm. then, you know. So it's nice to watch and see our local boys perform. Lovely. And then let's, let's go to piano. Top five. Songs. Should I say songs or artists? Songs. Uh, piano. Do, do you listen to the piano? Hey, I told you I'm a little bit of an yeah, old soul, yeah. you know. <laughs> But I think Kabza is doing well. Um, I mean, a lot of his music is is, is out there, and mm. uh, he created the whole industry basically. Mm. Maparisa them and stuff like that. Mm. Um, yeah, I like Black Coffee Black also. Coffee. You know, I wouldn't say I'm just I'm a piano yeah, yeah. guy. So I would say, yeah, and I like some international DJs also. Um, and then. I think uh, I can't get to that guy's name that's always on 5FM. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I like Inno Soul, uh, cultured, sculptured music, um, yeah, defective music and stuff like that. So yeah, um, it's, it's, it's one of those things, you know, that I like. Okay, when we close this top five, uh, give me a uh, top five Free State or Bloemfontein artists that you like. 
uh, top five free state artists. Um, well, that's a difficult one to say mm. when you say top five. But I like my boys. I like mm. Trauma, that is one of our artists. I like Fiki Nana, that's one of our artists. Yes, I like Ropes. <laughs> I like I like Lula them. So yeah, I like uh, Acid. Mm. Um, I th- those are those are the local boys that that I like. You know, mm. and that I say yeah. I hope they can make it in the industry. Lovely. And the top song. <sighs> the top song right now. I would say. The one that, that, that I've been listening to that I would pop in, into my car lately would probably be Stimela. Stimela, yeah, lovely. Yeah, I like lovely, that. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, uh, I, wanted to, I wanted to put you on the spot as well. Uh, would you just for, 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 for one day here, just borrow me that golf? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you can pay the insurance for that one day, then yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> yeah. but any advice to uh, young entrepreneurs? Um, yeah, uh, like I just mentioned to you earlier, um, you know, you got to take a chance in life to, to, to get rewards. And there's no bus- business that's really a guarantee. So you're always taking a risk. So mm-hmm. have your plan be in place so that you know if it doesn't work that you've got mm-hmm. another option in order mm-hmm. to survive. You know, mm-hmm. things are tough in South Africa. Lovely. And then well, the, the question that I like to ask a lot is, ever since we sat here, there was a question that you would have liked me to ask you. Uh, or an answer to people and I didn't ask that. What question would you like to ask DJ, to, DJ Swift? Uh, well, um, I would say just ask us when the events are happening. Man, yeah, and come yeah. and support, come out and support <laughs> us. You know, yeah, rooftop, we're going to do something over the Makufe weekend. Yeah. We're hoping everything works out. Uh, I can't spill the beans yet, but yeah, come through to roof, rooftop and the Makufe weekend. We're having a massive event for the whole weekend. Yeah. So yeah, I would say um, support us and we'll probably support you back. Lovely, lovely. Let's sell, let's sell, let's sell. In terms of bookings, MUT, DJ Swift, rooftop. Um, look, I mean, like I mentioned to you, we we are, we in the events management side mm-hmm. of things, so I wouldn't say it's just DJ Swift. Mm-hmm. Um, when we come, we come with our team of yeah. DJs and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So, yeah, if you guys are looking to do an event with us, to join hands and yeah. partner with us, we're always here to listen. And um, yeah, hopefully grow the industry from there. You know, mm-hmm. we also have a DJ school where we teach DJs mm-hmm. um, how to how to play and stuff like that. So, if you need a little bit of of, of, of sharpening your skills, you guys can also come through to our studio. So yeah, um, check us out on MUD Entertainment um, on Facebook and on Instagram. And um, yeah, I think uh, we started with our season three with Street Beats. So local artists that are rappers come through to Street Beats. Mm-hmm. We're also starting with season three of Mixed Mansions. Uh, Mixed Mansions, basically DJs that come and that do their mixes. That one in the red room, eh? 100%, love you know? Love, love, I love that so, show. So um, yeah, mm-hmm. we, we, we're trying to get that movement going and growing again. So don't forget to like, share uh, when you guys see it. Um, the more shares, the better. The more people get exposed to our videos, mm-hmm. uh, especially our local people here, Bloemfontein, uh, Free State. Come on, guys, support. On YouTube? YouTube, we also have uh, a channel there. Yeah, and we're YouTube. actually on all the platforms, all the social media platforms. But you can check it out on our page and all of our links are there. Mm. And uh, how much do you charge? For? For, for, for to play? To play? Mm, no, to on, on, on mixed mansions, no, we don't charge you anything. You don't we don't just, charge you anything. We're about uh, artist development and actually exposing the talent, you know. Mm. So, um, as well as three beats. So, it's not for us, it's actually for you as mm. the viewer. Second last question. <coughs> The biggest check you ever got, how much was it? Hey, we're not going to tell you that <laughs> one. <no>. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. There's certain things I'm not going to expose. I'll get robbed out of, on my way out here. <laughs> the camera, camera on, on it. <laughs> Switch it on. There's a question I want to ask here. There's a question I want to ask. Are, you, are we good? Record? Cool. Uh, could, could you please uh, focus on that camera ne? and then talk to your kids? What can you say to You know, the, the internet doesn't forget. Right. One day they watch this video, 20 years later. Now, yeah. What would you say to them? I would just say that, hey, daddy loves you girls and boys. Um, yeah, um, hopefully you guys can also have a podcast with one of our famous boys here locally, you know? <laughs> okay. And um, yeah, um, and yeah, follow your dreams. And hopefully one day you can be an artist or, or, or be an actor or you know whatever it is that you want to do i'll always support it lovely thank you for coming through for many. thank you so much for your guys time i appreciate it and um, yeah keep safe and everybody yeah it's cold but don't forget 
but buffet weekend we want to see you all there we, do, we, 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 we're killing it <laughs> <laughs> this was take me through your journey with myself mabokoto mabokoto right here on free state culture please subscribe on youtube it's free state culture tiktok at free state culture facebook free state culture until we meet again dangos